All right, before we start this video, I wanna let y'all know, I recorded three videos today. I uploaded two on this channel, plus this video, and I uploaded another video on my second channel. It's a vlog, make sure you guys go check that video out after this video. All right, let's get it. What's up guys, it's your host Hunter Josh, and welcome back to another reaction time. And as you can see from the title of this video, we're gonna be reacting to Devontae the One getting arrested at school animated story. And man, just from watching a lot of Devontae's videos, I can tell he was a badass kid, man. And I'm gonna be honest, I did some dumb shit too, but hey, we all learn from mistakes. Uh, this is definitely gonna be something crazy, just by the title alone. If you guys wanna see any of my other reactions to Devontae the One, I highly recommend y'all do. I have a playlist just for y'all guys to binge. There's some pretty crazy stories in in there and uh yeah the link to his channel will be in the description below so will his gaming channel so without further ado we're gonna go ahead and jump straight in yo pierre you wanna come out here man i'm real curious to like see what's gonna happen i learned from this story after it took place in my life is that making connections is mandatory which even though i'm an omnivert i have no problem with because knowing certain people personally opened up a lot of doors for me to walk out of situations like this so to start off i had a couple of family friends i grew up with but none of them stood out more than the coolest friend i had we're gonna call him by his nickname i gave him b rye y'all ever had that one friend's house growing Pretty up that cool you always nickname. went over and it's like a breath of fresh air compared to back at your house yeah going over b rye's house was lit especially when the squad came over we'd play video games we watch movies man, from time to time shit, man we'd just going to your friend's house loud. play games watch just anime. chill out those were the days we talk about the baddest chicks at school for like 40 seconds and only kept it at 40 seconds to a minute because regular niggas don't Bro, sit around facts. and talk about girls for hours and if you do that then you're a weirdo we got other things to worry about like playing 2k or when's the next chin hair gonna grow out or something sometimes we go into the backyard and fight with the swords b rye had whenever we'd get hungry Dude, that was kind of me but Walmart, we which back sabers. then was like the an adventure because a lot of us didn't have cars walking around the neighborhood with friends used to be gas you know boys just being boys when b rise dad was home he'd always allow us to drink the sodas out the fridge and eat pizza sometimes man i can't relate just my friend's dad was so stingy with drinking dad sodas allowed us to do all those things well it depends on like which friend i thought I his dad was cool he and i were on mutual terms because whenever i come over our conversations wouldn't even be conversations you get what i'm conversating i'd walk into the house say hello then got to step it all because b rise dad Bro, had i would do the morning, same exact thing so he too. wouldn't come home until later in the afternoon and I didn't want to disturb his inner peace sitting on his couch watching his football games with a soda right next to him. Are you picking up what I'm putting down? Also, keep in mind that B-Rye's dad was a I think I'm starting to understand man. something. Remember that, because that's key to the story. Oh, Overall, bruh. B-Rye's house was the go to Retired military dads, board. man. They saw something else. Fast forward I can to my tell sophomore you, year in college. And by this family. time, new people came along in the squad. Some people don't talk anymore. Blah, 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 blah. I get it. People come and go. Now, almost every day after all my classes were done, I'd spend a couple hours working on a video. Then after, head over to hang with my homies priorities first fun last you gotta respect yep. that because your boy was Dude, on the got you. Grind at almost the time. 200 on regular days my currently updated squad like, had right. two places to close. hang out on the second floor of the main campus building and the game room which was also in the main building one day me and my boy sean decides to pick up b rye who was like 25 minutes away from us because we haven't seen him in some months and at first we weren't gonna go get him but i don't know if you noticed newsflash cars don't run off of love and affection i needs the monies yep. so i was like it's whatever it's b rye so i'll pull some strings we go pick him up and bring him to the campus and go to the first spot the game room and keep in mind we had our bags down on the floor along with other people's bags right next to ours oh i think he's gonna you, mess Sean around and grab the wrong bags, bag an art bag and a school bag we shooting some pool playing some ping pong b right sitting down watching after some time we get tired we leave and we make our way to the library we get there pull out the Yu-Gi-Oh cards some time passes and sean looks at me and it's like yo mellow that was my nickname back in college i think i left my second book bag back at the game room which was across campus can you and b right do me all the way on the other side of the school because i got class bro. i'm like okay i don't mind vominos everybody let's go so we venture back to the game room and here's where things get ugly when we get to the oh, game room, shit, we man. notice that everybody's bags are gone except for his and the bag is still in the same area where he left it and i'm like oh bro that's okay, a little suspicious that's man still not even gonna fight nobody stole it 
cool. I grab it, we make our way to the library. Dog, I kid you not. As soon as we get to the library, now, I don't think I'm liking where this Sean. is going, looks man. This shit looks a little suspicious. And notices that's not his bag. Yeah, oh, see, I knew it. Crap. The only thing on our minds was to get to stepping. So we rush out the library and make our way as fast as possible to the game room to put the bag back. And before we ever even got the chance to see the game room in our distance. Jeez, man. Two cops pull up. Oh crap. Yo, the cops they get out real their cars, did pull up. beep their radios and it's like, yeah, 1025, we got the suspects in custody. 104, bring him in. Whoa, 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 hey, whoa, whoa. Suspects. suspects. What do you mean? Hold suspects. Up, bro. What does this look like among us? He starts pulling out some handcuffs. Don't worry, my brother. We just gotta detain y'all and take you down to the station for some questioning. Now put your hands behind your back. Now yeah, that's that shit, bro. Listen, this is a misunderstanding. I can explain. Oh, no. This ain't no misunderstanding. We saw the cameras. Camera? What you mean, cameras? Everybody around us sitting back and watching like it's a freaking football game. And at this point, we both nervous and Man, that's scared. That's got to be a, serious, like, a scary situation. I can't even we didn't imagine know what was about this. to happen. The whole day was chill until this bull crap happened. But all I know is I wanted to scream thug life so bad while getting into that car, which was the wrong mindset to have at the time. Because that life ain't nothing to glorify. All it does is bring yeah, I don't think that would have been a good move. But... Time. For anybody watching that's Jeez. been in hand before y'all know that bruh it is so uncomfortable they put us both in two separate cars and take us down to the library but for what and as soon as we pull up coincidentally sean walks out at the same time they pull up talk about divine timing they tell him that they're detaining him and why Bruh, that's that shit the car. and of course with no hesitation he agrees but they didn't put handcuffs on this nigga bro i was just talking to these two about this memory before recording and animating it and i'm still mad at the fact that they didn't get him handcuffed why why were we the only two in the cars that were freaking handcuffed i don't get that they take us down to yeah, the police that's... station they unhandcuffed know, us we walk inside and they tell us to sit down in the chairs on the wall for questioning now keep in mind there were three cops in that room with us one light-skinned cop that looked at us like we slapped his wife or something a dark-skinned cop that was sitting at his desk on his computer laughing and joking on us ah look at y'all suckers out here committing crimes ah Who's the real Dirty Dan? I guess I'm the real Dirty Dan, pinhead. Uh-oh, we got a real comedian over here. He must have not made it, because that's why he's here. And a brown-skinned cop that was dogging us. You did it. You did it. I know you did it. Stop lying to me. Yo, I know what? Stole the like, I'm trying to figure out, like, you what happened. Me. Stole the boy's bag? We didn't steal a bag. This is Sean's stuff. We got a call from somebody saying that their bag was stolen from the game room, and we saw two of you on the cameras that picked it up and left. And Patrick Starr over here was associated with y'all hours before. So admit it, y'all stole it. Bro, we constantly argued to this man that we did not steal this man's man. bag and that this was a misunderstanding. I'd be the drunk bag if I was in this situation. Exactly like Sean's second bag. And of course, this old man dogs us for 30 straight minutes while looking through our bags. Stop lying to me, son. Just admit it, y'all stole it. I swear I'll throw you in jail for lying to me. Bruh, the more I heard this man That's crazy. They're doing all this shit over breath, a The more I felt like we were going to start smelling like old man throat. I'm sitting in my chair like, look at us old nigga. Do we look like the type to steal? You literally found Yu-Gi-Oh cards, a bunch of childhood drawings, and a pack of gum in Sean's bag. <laughs> and this man B-Rai got a Pokemon nah, trainer hat the, and a no cars bag. Let them and go. I they just find got a all computer that shit, man. and cards. <laughs> Who are we hurting, Bro. stink meaner? The old farts like, if somebody don't fess up, all y'all are going to jail, cause I don't like liars. <laughs> and the other two cops leave into the back after trying to get our IDs. And bro, we were all literally so stressed out cause we didn't want to go to jail for a misunderstanding and the fact that this man literally is dogging us for absolutely no reason because they looked us up and we didn't have any freaking criminal history. It got to the point where me and Sean just accepted our fates and was ready to do the time. And we agreed to make a song when we get out. Man, that's a T Grizzly type that's shit. Until 
my boy b Rai, the legend man if they kept doing all that shit for that long man the, i probably would have accepted wild too, card man. on these niggas bro and use the realest jutsu known to the anime community talk no jutsu b Rai explained to the man that his dad was a strict top level military man and that he raised him on being honest and to never tell a lie and felt that military kids aren't like that and then he further explained that he grew up with me and Sean and that we never Yo, I'm not gonna lie, that's like actually that kind of smart. promised this man that we weren't lying. And so I'm probably gonna, did, I'm probably gonna take, take that technique too then. All as the other two cops are walking out. And in my mind, I'm like, bruh, all that pillow talking ain't gonna work on a dude like him, but we don't got that many more weapons in our arsenal. So I'm gonna give him the benefit of the doubt. And bruh, I kid you not. As soon as the other two cops completely leave, this old man's expression went from pissed and determined to sympathetic and surprised after hearing that we definitely yo that shit know for real work hold up he tells me and b rider going to go into the break room and for sean to wait on the wall and when i say this conversation happened like the others this conversation even shocked me old man looks at us and he's like all right boys listen i'm gonna let you go but only because your friend seemed genuine and his father is a part of the military I thank your father for his service, and I don't think that military kids would tell lies like that. <laughs> That's crazy, because I know plenty of military kids that lie. That my shit is crazy as hell, man. So hard out there. I was just doing my job, you know. Just doing man, my there's job. so many times so I could have used that excuse, that bro. Rah, 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 to keep your cop status shit, now I know. And now y'all guys know, too. Shit. Uh, reasonable. However, it's under one condition. You can't step on this campus ever again. If I see you, you getting arrested for trespassing. Understood? Now, in my mind i'm like b rise dad is the goat no matter of fact thank god for putting the thought in our head to go get b rise that day but imagine thank god if that would have happened if anyone wasn't there to save us with his dad's military cred we walked out that room and sean looked at us confused but i gave him the nigga get your stuff don't say a word and let's go look instantly he knew exactly what i meant he got his stuff the old man gave us our bags back and he drove us back to the campus Oh in the my rain. God. When we got dropped off in the rain, we ran over to my car, freaked out for like 20 minutes, and uh, yeah. After we calmed down, I told the guys I was going to make a video out of this one day. So, uh, here we are. <laughs> After that day, we didn't mention it to B-Rise dad, but uh, every time I saw him, I'd tell him thank you without telling him why, and uh, he'd look at me like a crazy person. Also, we never brought B-Rise back to campus. <laughs> Man, this is a crazy ass story. Moral of the story, in some situations, it's about who you know not what you know so that is the end of that and bro that is a crazy ass story and i don't know what i would have done if i was in a situation like that i mean i probably would have done the same thing because if you're telling them one thing and they're not listening and they're just steady calling you a liar only thing you can do is accept it but b Rai really came in clutch talking about how his dad is a top ranking ex-military man for that to actually work that's crazy but uh, hopefully I guys don't get stuck in a situation like that, especially with the cops nowadays, man. I'm just glad that they got out safe. Nothing too bad happened. But yeah, this is one crazy story, Devante. And yeah, like I said, the link to Devante's channel will be in the description below if you guys want to go check out any of his other videos. If you guys want me to react to any other video by Devante, the one, or any other animator or someone who makes skits, comment down below as well. And since we're about nearing the end of the video, I want to take this time to shout out my merch. If you go to the description below, you'll see a link to my Huncho Joshi store. All my store have very high quality. Shirts, hoodies, phone cases, and more. So go cop some heat today. And if you do cop some heat, make sure you guys take a picture in it, send it to me on my social media to be shouted out in the next video video. Make sure you guys like, comment, share to support your boy, subscribe if you're new to this channel, and if you are new, check out all my other series. Don't forget to hit the bell to be alarmed whenever a new banger is out. I'm your host, Hunter Joshi, and I'll see you guys in the next video. Peace, love y'all, stay clean, and I'll see y'all soon.